Avant d'avoir eu vent de vous Mon amour Ne vous déplaise En dansant la javanette These look so sick in the car, sparkling. Hey guys, it's Dove. Welcome back to my channel. First, I want to say thank you so much for all the love and all the appreciation on my last video, the first Living Alone Diaries. I'm actually in Ottawa um, for this week because on the weekend it's Chinese New Year, so lots of time with family and food. And I'm super excited because Year of the Dragon. Also, I am so happy because I finally got my brand new journal for the new year. This is by Nota and it's a plain journal with some pressed flowers and everything sustainable. I love. Um, I know this year is going to be unreal in terms of work and a lot of new projects coming soon. I wanted to share some of my prompts that I wrote down in my journal today and hopefully you guys will draw some inspiration. So my beautiful cover, first page is about me, second page is YouTube, third page is goals, fourth page is successes, fifth page is travels, um, six page is books. This is a project that is coming soon. And I just split up my months. I am so excited. I just finished work and I'm gonna go and get two new tattoos. I'm going with my friend Natalie. It's her nephew's place and he's super talented and he's gonna do them. So I'm gonna go get some errands done before and then we're going over to their place. We're gonna have dinner together with their whole family and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna get. Okay, also I'm obsessed with this podcast, guys. Her voice is the most beautiful thing ever. Yeah, the lover would have hurt a lot, I'm sure. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I always feel a lot more comfortable vlogging in my car it's only us i'm chatting to you guys <laughs> my parents can't overhear there's no stage fright and there's no awkwardness it's chinese new year and i wanted to chat a little bit to everyone in my vlog this week about about a couple of things i am so proud now that i'm older of my chinese culture and my chinese background and I wanted to shout out a couple of YouTubers that are my favorite and I adore them. I think they are amazing. I think they're so creative and they're very motivating and they're very inspiring. Um, when I was younger, there was definitely not as many people that looked like me um, that I could look up to. And now it's 
sick how oh, there's so many really wonderful Asian creators taking up the space. Um, these are big ones. So Moya, I love Moya so much. Isa, Allison, Michelle Choi, Yu Yan, Sophia. So many good ones. All right, Saturday is errands and I'm taking advantage that I'm back home in my hometown, Ottawa. So I'm gonna go to all my favorite spots to get my groceries and snacks for the week. And I'll take you guys along. beginner but mine is cute. It's like a little Disney Pixar character. Mm. Elena and Brayden made these traditional Chinese desserts. Um, it's basically some fruit with sugar coated over. Mm. This is so bomb. Took dad to Tommy and he got a coffee. <laughs> I am back home in my own apartment. The Tommy ice matcha sweats. It's a good day because dad is here. We're gonna hang out with Misk, walk around the neighborhood, and go to Chinatown for food. My dad and I have always been best friends. Dad, if you're watching, love you so much. Dad had a great time exploring Montreal with me. So she's back home and I feel great. I'm so excited to finally settle down and explore the neighborhood and get a routine and go to the office and go do things. Oh, I started filming and Miss was drinking water. Sorry if you hear that. I put up some cutie magnets from all my travels and yeah, the place is feeling like home. Misk, hi. <laughs> I stocked the fridge with my favorite drinks from the Asian Mart and my favorite kombucha from Whole Foods too. Got some baby arugula and some mixed greens, Fuji apple, a cucumber, some strawberries, some grapes, <laughs> my matcha from Tommy that I didn't finish, some eggs, some tuna, and some leftovers that mom packed me. Misk is really happy, right Misk? How cute is this red envelope? So these are my favorite kombuchas. They're from Whole Foods, they were on sale for two for four, so I stocked up. This one's blue lemonade, then strawberry and ginger. These are my favorite snacks because I'm a kid. <laughs> um, the jasmine green tea and these fruit jellies, which are so delicious. Favorite way to end my day and solid night routine is read my book and edit my video, then plan and organize my week. I wanted to show you guys this absolutely adorable picture that's in my apartment that was already here. I really love it because my family and I really cherish watching movies at the movie theater um, or at home together. And this just makes me think of my family because it's um, an old photograph of people at the theater. And I also should probably check out this movie, How the Other Half Lo Lives. Loves? because maybe it's good. I also wanted to show all you guys the new tattoos properly. 
this one's a bow and this one's a bunny thank you so much to my friend Matt and Bara the artist for doing these tattoos I love them so much the bows for me because I'm a girly girl and it also reminds me to always romanticize life and the little bunny rabbit is for my sister Elena because that's her Chinese zodiac she's a bunny rabbit thanks for watching guys I'm so excited to make more videos this year is gonna be amazing okay on this week's weekly obsessions as promised I absolutely adore music if you know me and especially live music and the best gift that I've ever received is a record player for my first boyfriend so I wanted to show some of my favorite records this is Mac Miller's last album before he passed away R.I.P. Mac I adore this album this is Alabama Shake Sound and Color I love this band I found them from Big Little Lies soundtrack of course, I gotta have my girl Billie Eilish's first EP. This one's so magical. I'm also a ginormous fan of Daniel Caesar. This is his album Case Study, which I saw live. And I'm also a ginormous fan of The Lumineers. I've seen them three times. This is their debut album, self-titled The Lumineers. But yeah, gee, if you're watching, which you probably aren't, but if you are and you're in Japan, thanks for the record player. I still love it. And now that I'm here, I want to collect more. Um, music is super therapeutic and like heals your soul, <laughs> especially when you're feeling down or having a rough time. And I'm always playing music. I think my Spotify wrapped the minutes was like something insane couple hundred thousand minutes last year anyway thanks for watching love you guys literally the most thoughtful and best gift ever that i've ever received in my entire life if you stay till the end of my video i love you guys and here's a surprise this is my rooftop on top of my apartment I am so grateful and I am so lucky. There's the Ferris wheel. That's where Oshiaga is. This is going to be insane for tanning and reading. 